Hello everyone, it's Rory from Pratt's Pods. Um, today I'm here with an iPhone 6s. Um, I've actually got quite a few to do today, which is nice. Um, so this, bear with me one second, is an iPhone 6s. Um, it's been brought in for rapid battery drain. Um, I'm just going to show you how we test these quickly. Um, so rapid battery drain, a lot of companies will just come straight in, say, oh, that's a bad battery, I'll replace that. Um, that's actually exactly what's happened to this customer, um, a company down the road who claimed to be, um, well, claimed to be the best, um, obviously, as you do, um, has basically said it is the... It is the battery, um, so I'm trying to get this, so believe me, I'm not set up to do these sort of videos yet, really, um, but I'd like to give it a go. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to come here, stick one on ground, so this 6S board is plugged in, um, plugged in to charge, um, I'm basically going to check the voltage coming on the battery connector from being charged. So this should be a steady, or well, I'm not quite so steady, it should be about 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, um, should be there steady, no drops whatsoever. As you can see there, that's dropping, um, which means there's probably a short on this um, TriStar. Um, so as you can see, 3.7, that's good. Oh, it drops down to next to nothing. So uh, that shows that we have a faulty, um, faulty IC there. Um, next, what I'm just going to do quickly is turn this round. Let me just focus on my microscope here. I'm just going to check the voltage coming out of a couple of lines here. Again, you probably won't really get to see this very well, but so. That's the 1 volt 8 line, and that line drops from 1.78 to 0.6. So that's obviously bad. This line is the 3 volt line, which is 2.97 and drops to nothing. So there's obviously something going wrong here. Um, now, I'll be totally honest, I'm not entirely sure if this one's going to be TriStar um, or Tigris. Could be either. Um, but what I'm going to do to start off with is I always peel back. There's a bit of metal here in the way of Tigris, so I'll always peel that up first and then I'll cut it later once it's all tested or I can push it back down if needs be. Um, so, first things first, get it on our preheater. I mean, you don't really have to use a preheater for sort of such a standard repair as a tri-star but it's good practice so I'll make sure I'm always using these it just basically means I'm not going to cause any further damage to something else now, excuse me, I'm going to have to open the window get a few extract out there so this is going to get noisy in just a moment when I turn on the fan and the heat gun and everything so here we are preheater set to 160 put some flux around the tri star while that's warming up I'm gonna find the replacement I see it should be just here a bit low on 6s I've probably got another bag in it and considering I've got another 6s I've got a 7 God, I've got yeah quite a few boards to do today so I'm gonna try and get a few done on video and see how well it goes so put my new chip just down here that's starting to warm up quite nicely so I'm gonna get my heat gun Right, so, gentle heat around the general area, and then I'm going in. Here we go.
go. And there's that off. Put that in my bin pile. Now we just need to firstly put a bit of flux here again. Then I'm going to clean up these pads <coughs> by adding a bit of leaded solder. Clean them up. So it's ready for a new TriStar icing. Here we go. That is nice and clean now. Just going to clean that area a little bit. Make sure I don't get any nasty surprises. That all looks good. So, next I'm going to put some more flux. Grab the new IC. Make sure it's in the right position. And orientation because these ICs have to go in in the right orientation or they're never going to work and turn my air down for <coughs> new IC okay, that's in good position now heat that up Make sure it's fall into place. And there we go, I think it's just moved. And we're good. Turn that preheater off. Let that cool for a minute and then I'll give it <clears throat> another quick clean. I just don't want that IC to move around while I'm cleaning it. Um, there we go. Just to make sure it's bonded there properly. So now, I can plug that charging port back in. Let's get rid of this for a second. See what readings I get now. Usually, we're pretty good at telling what these are. Um, well, it's, it's pretty common, but it's just tri star. Um, on the rare occasion, it will need tri star and tigress. Um, hopefully, for this video's sake, it's just the one. So one on ground, one here, 3.7, and it's staying there. No short in, no drops. So that to me, looking very good. 3.7, it's staying around there, it's not jumping around too much, and it's not dropping. So I would say, that's one successful TriStar replacement on a 6S. I'm just going to check these two lines that I checked beforehand as well. Make sure they're not dropping anymore. That's staying firm. And so is the 3 volts. So that's it. That's one sorted 6s and um, the shorts have gone and um, it's not 
dropping any more of the voltage so that is all sorted i'm going to give it a proper clean now and um, get that back in one piece for the customer and we will have another happy customer on their way um, so yeah so we do all board level repairs on all manner of devices whether it's a iphone a macbook an ipad anything like that um, televisions and we can fix just about all of it so if you have a problem with your device um, or if you're a shop and you need someone to do your board level repair work just please feel free to get in touch